Good morning everyone. So today I am again here with you to continue the session of natural language processing and I hope this is the last session. With this session I will complete unit 6 natural language processing. Okay now the topic I am covering in this session is bag of words. Bag of word is actually a natural language processing model which helps in extracting features out of the text which can be helpful in machine learning algorithms. What does it mean? As you know, in natural language processing model, when we are trying an activity, we have taken few documents and with those documents, we have extracted the textual information all together and created a corpus. And with this corpus, we will do all the tasks, all the processing for the normalization of the text. So after getting the normalized text, we have to extract the features of the in, uh, that uh, normalized text. So for extracting features, we will use this NLP model, which is known as bag of words. So bag of words is actually a NLP model which is hel helpful in extracting features. And why we are extracting features? After extracting features out of the text, that will be helpful in machine learning algorithm. As you will get the essence of the information, then you can create the algorithm, machine learning algorithm. So in short, you have to keep these three points in your mind when you are explaining bag of words in short. What are these three points? Number one, bag of words is natural language processing model second helps in extracting features out of the text okay and the third point which can be helpful in machine learning algorithms so this is the short definition of bag of words now how it works now just see the example i am showing here uh, there is a document having one sentence only the squares jumped out of the suitcases. So the, in this example, this sentence will convert it into tokens and then jumped into the bag for processing. And after the processing, the features of this text will be given in this form. This is the dictionary or you can say the vocabulary list where the single occurrence of these textual information will be listed with the number of occurrences. I will uh, show you all the steps of this procedure one by one. So in bag of words, we get the occurrences of each word and construct the vocabulary for the compass. Now see how. Now this is the example, same example given in a book. This is the corpus and we are uh, the next step we will take this corpus in the form of tokens and put it into the bag. So corpus will be converted into normalized form with the process of text normalization. And then we will put this into the bag. And when this, these tokens will be in the bag, this is not necessary to put it in the same sequence. The sequence is not mandatory here. So the corpus is in the bag in the form of tokens. Then it will be converted into the vocabulary of corpus this way. Suppose there are uh, this it word six times in this bag. Then it will comes once only in this vocabulary or the dictionary of corpus. But its occurrence will be um, mentioned here. So it will come. It is here six times. I is here seven times. The four. So this way all occurrences will be listed with the vocabulary list. And this information is known as dictionary. So this is the whole procedure of bag of words model, NLP model. The corpus, then it will be in the bag of words where processing done and this information will come with in the form of dictionary or the vocabulary list which will have two information one unique words of the corpus and the occurrences number of occurrences count of the occurrences of those unique words see uh, i am showing you how it it is uh, done in the bag of words this is the information which we have taken from the corpus now i c i comes 
one, two, three, four, five, and one more six times, but it will be taken as ones in the dictionary with the count six. This way, all the information will be converted into the vocabulary of corpus. After getting the vocabulary of corpus, what information we received with this model NLP model, which is known as bag of words. We have received two information. Number one, vocabulary of corpus means all the unique words available in corpus. And second is the frequency of these words. What does frequency mean? Frequency means the number of times a word has occurred in the whole corpus. Ki ek word corpus mein kitni bar hai. So this frequency will be counted and listed in the dictionary. After getting this information, keep it in uh, one more thing in your mind that sequence of sentences or tokens does not matter in this case. This is the only point because of which this model is known as bag of words. As you know, when we are putting something in bag, we are not considering a lot about it sequencing the things. We are keeping everything one by one and putting the bag close. So this way, this sequencing is not important. That's why this model is known as bag of words. So it is okay here. We call this algorithm bag of words symbolizes that the sequence of sentences or tokens does not matter in this case as well. Uh, sorry, as all we need are the unique words and their frequency. That's it. Yahi do information hame bag of words chahiye. Unique words and their frequency. Okay, now implementation of bag of words. Here is a step-by-step -step approach to implement bag of words algorithm. Now see. In the process of implementation of bag of words, the first step is text normalization. Step two, create dictionary, individual dictionary for one document, one dictionary. Then we will create document, sorry, dictionary uh, for all the uh, tokens, one dictionary. Then create document vector for each document means individual document vectors. Then last is create one document vector for all. So these are the four steps. Now I'm going to show one by one all these steps in short. Text normalization step is used to collect data and pre-process it, which we have already done in the previous session. The text normalization steps in which you have done creation of the corpus, then uh, sentence segmentation, then tokenization, then stemming, lemmatization, uh, then uh, lowercase conversion, stop word removal. So these all steps come in the category of text normalization. This is not the part of actually bag of words, but be because we are using it as an LP model. So pre-processing step will be counted in this model. So text normalization means before starting the procedure of bag of words, we have to normalize the text. So this is the step one. Now step two, create dictionary means after getting the normalized text, you have to convert the text into the dictionary means making the list of the unique words with their occurrences. And step three, creating document vector. It will be shown by an example in the next slide. And the last one, the single document vector. Now see how it is working. Step one of text normalization. Here, three documents are there. Document one is having one sentence and the and any are stressed. And now document two is again having one sentence and the went to a therapist. And the document three is having again one sentence and you went to download a health chatbot. So these are the documents which we are going to process. So we have created corpus and after this the text normalization step will come and all the tokens will be uh, segmented. So after getting the tokens what you can see in this example that stop words are still there. 
and as we know these are stop words these are not that much important having that much importance in this textual information but these are still there after text normalization in the previous session i have told you that in the text normalization step during the uh, procedure of removal of the stop words symbols and numbers we will remove all these things but here it is not removed why when information is in very less quantity means there is one sentence in one document that in these type of cases uh, uh, stop words these type of stop words will have the same count means if you are seeing that stressed is also one occurrence having one occurrence and same and is having one occurrence so if their occurrences are almost having the same level of other words then we will not remove it because it is having the same importance in this corpus so this that's why it is not removed again note that no tokens have been removed in this top words removal step it is because we have very little data and since the frequency of all the words is almost the same no word can be said to have lesser value than the other that's why it is not removed these stop words are not removed so this way we will get all the tokens normalized tokens and the next step the step 2 is create dictionary now as we know that after getting the tokens we have to list the words once only in the dictionary means if you are having and twice then you have to write it in dictionary only once so this way this uh, step will be done uh, you can see and twice so only one and will come in dictionary and one will be collapsed and this way and any again twice but comes one in the dictionary and all the unique words will be listed in the dictionary okay event then a uh, once and again therapist download chatbot and help this way our dictionary is ready now occurrences after getting the dictionary we have to create a vector table in this step the vocabulary is sorry this name of this step is create document vector in this step the vocabulary is written in the top row you have to create a two row table for single document if you are creating document vector table for single document which is step 3 and after this step we will create the document vector table for all the documents so in step 3 when we are creating document vector table for single document then you have to create the table of two rows and in the first row you have to write all the unique words which we which we have received in the dictionary so all these words will be written in the top row and in the second row what we will be done in the second row we have to write the occurrence of these words in the document corpus of the document see and d and d comes once in the document 1 if you will check document 1 okay in document and d comes 1 so that's why it is wait a minute i need to quickly move to the next okay so this way occurrences will be counted in the document vector table and the one and one and e one r one stress one and rest of the words are not in document one so here you will put zero So in in the first document we have words and d and any are stressed. Now see stressed here stressed is in there in its base form stress. Maybe uh, with this uh, procedure of lemmatization or stemming it is stress here. So this way you will get all the unique words in the document vector table with their count in the document. Now. you have to um, follow this step in this step 3 is followed with the step 4 repeat all the uh, same step for all documents means which is step step 3 step 3 was creating document vector table now we have to done the same step for all the documents 
so uh, here we are having three documents so we have to create a table of four rows why the top row is the header row we are having three documents that why we have created four rows now in the on the top row we have written the unique words which we have received in the dictionary and then write the occurrences of all the words you can check it manually when you are doing it on copy or in your uh, any document each of the word will be visible here with its occurrence document 1 andy and any are stress and document 2 andy went to a therapist in document 3 any went to a download health chat board and few stop words are removed so in this table the header row contains the vocabulary of the corpus and three rows correspond to three different documents document 1 document 2 document 3 now take a look at this table and analyze the positioning of zero and ones in it you can do it yourself and this is the next part tfidf which is now not in the syllabus for the assessment for the final assessment of the class 10th board examination for ai i have to show to show you the revised syllabus now you can see in this syllabus tfidf part is optional and these optional components shall not be assessed they are for extra knowledge that's why i am not covering this tfidf part and i am moving towards nltk what is nltk nltk is natural language toolkit it is the full form of nltk and nltk is a python library which is freely available on internet to perform all the natural language processing tasks like sentence segmentation all these steps of text mm -hmm. normalization tokenization stop word removal lower case conversion stemming anything which is related to natural language processing when you are making any chatbot when you are converting a translator or whatever you are doing related to any natural language processing work then you have to use nltk library of python and you have to import this library in your code python program so i am showing you the example given in your book here this is a do it yourself activity given in your book to work with nltk here is a corpus for you to challenge yourself with a given task use the knowledge you have gained in the above sections and try completing the whole exercise by yourself so you have done a text normalization in the previous session and same proceed same task you have to done with this uh, corpus there are three documents document one is having one sentence we can use health chatbots for treating stress document 2 is having sentence we can use nlp to create chatbots and we will be making health chatbots now and document 3 health chatbots cannot replace human counselors now so these three sentences will make the corpus now suppose you need to create sentence segmentation sorry ha huh? you have to proceed with the first step sentence segmentation wait a minute i have to take the corpus and then i will i will proceed okay now i am copying the corpus now we will proceed to the next step of sentence segmentation i am clicking on the link and i will show you how it will work now i have clicked on it and we will move towards the okay this is the page of sentence segmentation tool here you have to paste the text you have copied i have copied the text i am pasting it here now this is the corpus corpus me actually sentence is tarah se alag alag nahi honge in continuity so this is the corpus now i am clicking on this is sentence segmentation button i have clicked on it and now you can see the result Okay. See, this was the original text. We can use health chatbots for treating stress. Full stop, and the next sentence in continuation. 
Now simply in sentence segmentation, the whole corpus will be divided into segmented into sentences. Okay. Now see the next step given in your book. In this activity is tokenization, which is the next step of text to normalization. I'm click on, clicking on it again. And on the textprocessing.com page, here I have to type the text. I'm selecting it, removing the previous text and pasting the text which I have copied from the slide. Now this is the, okay. In the sentence segmentation, we have received the segmented text. I'm clicking on it for tokenization. And with the procedure of tokenization, we have received the tokens like this. See, but there are different types of token bank, you tree bank, you can say tokenizer, word tokenizer, then the punctuation tokenizer. So, it's made different types, aapko nahi bataya gaya, simple tokenizer bataya hai. So, with the step of tokenization, we will get the tokens and see, the symbols will be individual token. So, after getting this these tokens we will move towards the next step what is the next step now next step is lowercase conversion stop words remove sorry stop words removal we have not done stop words removal i'm showing you these steps see we have started with corpus this was a corpus and then with the sentence segmentation step we have done this step and we have segmented the whole corpus in three sentences and the next step was tokenization and uh, this, these sentences which we have converted from corpus will be provided to the tokenization tool and we have received these tokens then we have move okay we have done stopper remover okay now we have to do this stopper remover clicking on the link Here. Here you have to input the text. It means insert the text which you have copied. Okay, the text is here. And clicking on clean text and see this is the text without stoppers. Suppose you you can see here written a pronoun V. If there is no noun, means the sentence or the paragraph, the whole information is started with pronoun then this pronoun will not be removed by this stop word removal tool because it is important here it is having importance here if you are writing any sentence my parents and again i am picking on clean text now see v okay now parents Again, it is not there because it is not proper noun. My parents sell chatbot training. Okay. So, this way you have received the text, the tokens without stop words. And now the next step, lowercase conversion. I am not showing the activity. You can do it yourself. The stop word removal step, so your text mila, aap isko copy karoge and you will move towards the lowercase <coughs> conversion text by clicking on this link and after clicking on this link when you will paste the text there you will get the tokens in lowercase only and after getting the tokens in lowercase you can try stemming with the stemming step I have received this text here you can see that chatbots is now chatbot. In the previous step, it was chatbots. But in this step, it is chatbot. When I have done stemming and create, see the spelling of create is changed and replace. So I have also done lemmatization, but in lemmatization, the chatbots are chatbots. The same word is taken in the lemma also and create. There is no mistake in spelling of create because it is considering the dictionary or the morphology of the word so this way you can use stemming or lemmatization bo any of these affixes removal step as per your choice so now the next step is bag of words after getting the normalized text 
you have to start with bag of words. In bag of words, you have to create a document vector table for all the documents, which is the actually objective of this model. So how you will start after getting the lemmatization means lemma or stems, you have to put all the words in this table, vector table at the top row and then you have to write the occurrences in three documents. See, in these three documents, the, the documents are document one, we can use health chatbots for treating stress. So what we have done, we have received we can, sorry, can is not in this uh, normalized text table dictionary because can is removed by the stoppers removal step. So we are not having it. Or use is also not there. So next is health once one occurrence chatbot one occurrence for is again removed treating is converted to treat the base word treat and it's once and it's stress once so this way you have to create this document vector table write the occurrences of all the words in three documents one two three and this will be used in the next step of tfidf which is not covered in this video. I am not taking it because it is not coming in the board examination, final theory examination. Okay, now one more thing I... Okay. Hmm. okay, in short, I want to tell you one more thing about TFITF. Where is this? After getting the uh, document vector table, that table will be used in TFIDF algorithm. With this algorithm, you will convert this, uh, these values into IDF values. And for IDF values conversion, you have to follow some rules and using the log logarithm. So I am not covering this. Just want to tell you that the same table which you have received from this bag of words will be used by TFIDF algorithm and will be converted into IDF values and these IDF values will be used in the by the machine so this way the whole text will be normalized and ready to process so I am stopping my presentation here and I will start the next uh, next session for evaluation in my next video. Till then, bye-bye.